they're making this covenant because they're saying, we want, this is a mistake, this is a huge mistake that God's people keep making over and over and over again. We keep sabotaging our spiritual vitality and our spiritual purity by, by mixing our faith with other faiths and this is not gonna work very well for us. And this actually goes all the way into the New Testament as well. So in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, the apostle Paul writes it like this. He says, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. For what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness? Or what fellowship has light with darkness? And uh, this is, being yoked is a, is a metaphor for marriage. Um, sometimes I think that's not a great metaphor, you know, uh, the idea of like, you know, being chained to, you know, your spouse is not an animal that you're chained to, you know. But that, that's not the point, of course. The idea is that you're, you're bound together, right? You're, you're com- completely, for life, long you're, you're completely committed together so the I, let me say this if you're a believer and you're married to an unbeliever let's say you got married before you became a christian and then after your marriage you became a christian but your spouse is not a believer um that's your situation or perhaps you were a believer and you just you married somebody of a different faith or no faith if you're in that kind of situation let me say to you stay married and make it the best marriage it can be make it a great marriage serve them love them honor them do everything you can to 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 to, to let your life be a witness to the gospel for them that they might believe themselves but just make it the best relationship it can be but let me also say this if you're single and you're a believer don't marry somebody who's not a believer don't do it why don't do it we just read the verse from the apostle paul and he says not to do it. It's a good reason not to do it. Very wise guy. Nehemiah's generation knew. Don't do this. This is this draws your heart away. If you happen to have done it, don't get divorced. Make it the best it can be. But if you if you're before that, don't don't fall into that mistake. You know what feels really good? Hitting that beautiful like button. It's just sitting right there, all alone with nothing to do. Help it live to its fullest potential. You know what else feels really good? Embracing that subscribe button. It's like a puppy begging for attention. Just showing it a little bit of love goes a long way. Like and subscribe.